I love Pascal Siakam. And the report that we're hearing goes like this from Matt Moore. From his understanding, the Raptors are likely to build around the combination of OG Ananobi and Scotty Barnes. And I've said this personally, repeatedly, because OG Ananobi is a more seamless fit next to Scotty Barnes than Pascal Siakam. And I've always said Scotty Barnes will never reach his full potential with Pascal Siakam on the same roster due to the fact that Pascal Siakam and Scotty Barnes are both point forwards who need the ball in their hands to be successful. Now, Siakam is likely hitting somewhere willing to pay him this summer and that's the next complication uh, Siakam being likelier Siakam is expiring which puts the pressure more firmly on the Raptors to move him to avoid the risk of losing him for nothing like they did with Fred Van Fleet there were talks to describe this serious by multiple sources over the summer between the Hawks and Raptors which was a three-team deal that fizzled out once the Mavericks saw that they had Derek Lively and then it directed a two-team deal basically what we knew was it was going to be a deal that sent John Collins to they wanted to send John Collins to the Mavs and then it would have been like Bogdan Bogdanovich I believe and DeAndre Hunter and AJ Griffin with a first round pick or two first round picks for Pascal Siakam so that's where that went and I think it's definitely interesting to see like where all this is going because as a fam I've always said that these are, I don't know, rumors we're hearing for, like, like from Matt Moore that he said if we're capping for a race for Siakam, the Hawks are the favorite. So if we're looking at the Hawks, I mean, I just like OJ Anobi allegedly is a hot name for much of last year and for going two years they thought OJ Anobi not only wanted top level or if not near max, but that he wanted a premier role in the offense and that scared a lot of teams off because they thought he was just a three and D guy. And the summer changed and Obi left clutch sports in the conversation about him immediately changed. And Obi has indicated to local media that he wants he, that he was seeking a superstar role was false or at least overstated. And his role with the Raptors has been mostly the same as last season, but his relationship with cornerstone Scotty Barnes has started to flourish. And that changes things because Siakam's 29 going on 30 and Ananobi's 26. So it's easier to pair Ananobi over the next four years with Barnes because they're closer to the same timeline as Barnes continues to develop. And Barnes is playing at an all NBA level this year. So from it, from our understanding is that, you know, Barnes and Ananobi is going to be the front. So if we look at this Pascal Siakam, the Hawks deal is probably still going to be a DeAndre Hunter, Bogdan, deal i personally think it's deandre hunter click capella you send click capella to a third team and then you move the assets like that kings the deal would be around harrison barnes and probably salary filler at that point maybe like malik monk in there too and then the pacers that deal is you would assume around buddy heald's contract because he's the one who fits the the, the team the most in my opinion but i mean obviously that can always change I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What would you guys trade for Pascal Siakam?